I can see Craig in the background. I'm going to bring him in right now. I, I, I guess you're sort of heading towards the stadium, are you, Craig? Yeah, I mean, exactly. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm battling traffic. Well, human traffic. There's a lot of a lot of people trying to get into the stadium. It's going to start shortly. It's pretty rammed here. Roland Garros is a small site anyway, so you get this many people trying to get in. And the uh, ladies' doubles went long. So it's, it's a big traffic jam here. Yeah, I think it might be delayed, Craig, which is probably useful for everybody because oh, I know good. it was due to kick. Yeah, I think so. But but don't don't hold me to that, Craig. But uh, so I would still yeah, proceed. Yeah. But I think it might be delayed. But just Craig, quickly, um, you've been with Novak in these moments uh, just an hour before sort of the, the, the final gets underway or even less. What's he like in these sort of last sort of 45 minutes or so? Yeah, very cool, calm and collected. You know, what you want to do in this last hour is make sure that the game plan is crystal clear. What you're always trying to do is distill the information. Uh, you know, you have serving, returning, rallying, approaching, getting two or three very specific things very clear in your mind, um, understanding the opponent, un understanding what's coming, and um, walking out on the court knowing the patterns of play that you want to employ. So there's an element of that, then there's certainly an element of just being relaxed and calm, but also activating the body so that you're ready to go first point of the match. So it's a, a combination to bring all that together and maybe a snack or two uh, just to calm the nerves. What a, Talking of game plans, Craig, is there any game plan? What, what's the game plan that, that Kasper Ruud could possibly execute to stand a chance of winning this match? Yeah, it's, it's tough for him. You know, he has, he has a game style where he likes to shape the ball, he likes to use spin, he likes to use his legs, he likes to run. Um, just being solid off the backhand, and that wins against almost every player on the tour. You know, he, he played last year to become number one in the world, so he's certainly an incredible player. His problem is when he ran into Rafa here last year, that game style just didn't hurt Rafa, and today is exactly the same. He's played Novak four times. He hasn't won a set, um, and what he likes to do is not going to get the job done. So that's kind of the fear I have today is that Casper comes out, plays well, but plays on his terms and never really has a shot at winning the match. So he needs to bring fire early. It needs to be a first strike match for him. He's doing really, really well in the first four shots. He's not doing nearly as well as Novak when it gets five shots or longer. So um, Kasper needs to adjust um, his game style. He needs, he needs to bring more heat early in the point. Craig, uh, I'll just have one more question for you. Yeah. Um, I... <laughs> Novak, in terms of where he is, uh, you know, on the precipice, do you think he might be a little bit more nervous today? I mean, we saw it when he was on the verge of the Grand Slam in 2021. Is there any chance that, or because everything we've seen so far, like against Carlos, he was dialed in in particular from, from the yeah. middle of the Hatchinoff match throughout the Carlos match, there was no yeah. distraction. Is there any chance he might get distracted today? I don't think so. I, you know, he's, he's already had that. That match against Medvedev where, you know, he was going for the Grand Slam. It, it didn't happen. Medvedev played well. Novak was a little off. He's going to learn from that. Um, he looked great against Carlos. He came out and attacked early. And I anticipate the same thing here. So I'm not, I don't think there'll be any nerves from Novak, actually. This is another match. He's going to treat it as a regular Grand Slam final. He's won 22 of them. And, uh, you know, he knows what to do. So I think he'll be just fine. All right, Craig. Uh, I was just watching some uh, footage of uh, Nadal against um, Darren Brown late last night on YouTube. And I was like, I think that's Craig O'Shaughnessy yeah, there. There you but go. There you go. Were, were you in the Darren Brown team that day? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. That was the best day uh, I've ever had in tennis in my entire life. That was so much fun to see Dustin execute a game plan and take it to Rafa and... Um, you know, just just a super fun match, high energy. The crowd was going eight droppings, and uh, Dustin got through that. So, yeah, lots, lots, of, lots of fun, that one. Craig, thanks very much for joining us. Enjoy the match. Okay. Thanks Cheers. so much. Bye. Bye-bye.